Hello my Sokover Universe. I actually decided to make this video now uh, late, late at night so that I can post it uh, tomorrow in the morning. There were a few games. I think every league had, well not every league, but pretty much every league had one evening game on Friday. And yeah, you can already see I'm wearing Roma. Roma played at Kievo. And um, Roma won. Uh, I watched only until the 50th minute. Um, they took an early lead through Shara El Sharavi, uh, goalkeeper by the uh, Kievo goalkeeper. Ball comes back, horrible defending Sharavi, takes it from an acute angle, puts it into net. Very easy goal. Nine minutes later, Checo does something very similar, gets the ball actually towards the outside of the box, cuts in, puts it in net. Very similar actually to the Pionte goal against Napoli last week. So, Tunil Roma without exerting themselves too much. Um, game is plodding, Kievo is coming itself back, has one big chance uh, to make it 1-2, uh, potentially a little bit offside, but they made a header right into uh, the goalkeeper's hands. It was not Olsen, just let me look up. Now I have the chance again. Um, it was someone with M. Mirante. Uh, also right there and saved it. Uh, he had to make a few saves. So um, Kievo seemed not out but couldn't connect. Second half starts again. Uh, pretty soon there is a great chance. Was it Djordjevic? One of those, the Serbian players here, yeah, Djordjevic, who had a really free shot on goal, uh, didn't make it, was again saved and it probably would have not given for offside. A little bit later, nice counter attack uh, comes to Kolarov, makes it 3 0, and Roma seals the deal. As I said, I stopped watching at that point. Um, I actually decided to not watch anything but um, <laughs> educate myself on other levels because the other games that were on didn't interest me too much either. Um, and when we look at the results, almost rightfully so. So, Roma gets the 3-0 win, now they overtake uh, Lazio again, still level on points, but of course a uh, better goal differential, and Milan is now in 6th spot, and has pressure on them, they need to beat Cagliari, and they would go on top again. It is a race uh, in there, and as much as I like Roma, I always say Roma is my second favorite team in Italy. Uh, not sure how happy I was about that win, but you know, Milan probably needs some pressure to get it going. Uh, it will be interesting where this journey will end. Uh, as I said uh, to, uh, in the morning, I really hope that Inter is dropping and there will be maybe more teams involved. Um, speaking of Inter, they play Parma, which could be uh, a really, really interesting game this weekend. Speaking of interesting games, the biggest game probably this weekend is between uh, the Atletico and the Real Madrid. And now that we are already in uh, La Liga, the evening game was Real Valladolid against Villarreal. Uh, and it goalless. And from the little I saw, it was not a really great game. Villarreal is still on the bottom of the table with 20. Uh, Valladolid has, a, has 26 points now. Yeah, if it goes bad, they can uh, drop to 17th if everyone else is winning, but I don't see, really see this is happening. And even then, they would have, they still have a three point cushion to Raya Vallecano. On the other hand, if Raya Vallecano wins, <laughs> they're right level with Real Valladolid. So it's a result that doesn't help either one, really. Uh, in France, Marseille uh, turned the game around against Dijon, 1-2-1, one, one, Balotelli scoring again, and Ocampos uh, getting the late winner. And then the big game in Germany, big game, the biggest result uh, in terms of goals was Mainz against Leverkusen, where uh, Wendell gave Leverkusen uh, a lead, Kaysen uh, equalized, and then it became the Julian Brandt show, who... Um, Put the assist on the second goal in the 19th to Havertz, scored the uh, third himself, assist by Folland, then again assists uh, Bellarabi in the 43rd, and 
We are at halftime 4 1 for Leverkusen, and Brandt himself, again from assist by Folland, makes it 5 1 in the 64th minute. The Julian Brandt show. Two assists, two goals. What more do you want uh, from a striker? Well, I think that's that. Um, I have been wondering whether well, well, the world should watch tomorrow. Um, I think it is pretty clear that Athletic against uh, Real, that's the big matchup. I'm just afraid it won't be a very good one. Uh, just because whenever Atletico is involved, it's usually not a very good matchup. But I think I will still go for that. The other one would be liverpool Bournemouth, where I'm also a little bit shaky. This could turn out like the, a few weeks ago. Where I wanted to watch Real Sevilla, and then I kept switching forth between Liverpool and West. No, Crystal Palace. I was a nail biter. So, I have to see that. Anyway, let me know what you're watching tomorrow. I uh, just want to see the slate quickly that we can see i already said what's in the premier league uh tomorrow yeah it's really that bad i would say the big game is of course on sunday between Manchester city and chelsea although i don't see that much uh happening tomorrow uh 8 30 is could, could be parma inter and fiorentina napoli i mean there are two really nice games in uh Serie A. uh i'm my eyes will be on the 8.30 game uh, on Sunday, of course. And yeah, Primera División, we have Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid tomorrow, 4.15, uh, Central Euro, European time, and Barcelona is also a nice matchup. I won't watch that one because I'm watching Milan, but Atletico Bilbao against Barcelona, that's one of those classics that you should, in the Spanish league, that is actually usually worth watching. Again, let me know what you're watching. Give me a thumb up, thumbs up if you liked that video. Uh, by the way, you see over there my new Netherlands jersey. I wanna do, um, I got meanwhile, I think four new jerseys since I made the last New Jersey video around the beginning of the year. But I know I will get one more for Valentine's from my dear wife. Don't know yet what, but uh, looking forward to that one. And then I will show you because then it's worth it. Um, and of course, each of them will get their own video at one point. But yeah, I am scouring everywhere. I'm really finding great short deals uh, <laughs> through those Austrian online sellers. Um, maybe a little bit too crazy already about it, but you know, there's there are some really nice shirts for really not much money. And I gotta stock up on a few things. Africa Cup, a little bit more in the other leagues. Um, but we'll see. I'll keep you posted on that one as well. Again, if you want to stay updated, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you around and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.